Welcome to my kitchen. I am totally discombobulated today and having a major hot flash, so just bear with me. I went on the internet yesterday and found a wonderful recipe for a taco, a fish taco. Um, took the recipe to the grocery store today, bought all the ingredients, came home. Now I can't find the recipe. So I got it on the internet again. But my printer doesn't work, so I've scribbled everything out for us. We're going to make it. It's going to be fine. The first thing we need is fish. Now, I never follow a, a recipe exactly. The recipe called for red snapper. I prefer cod. I bought cod. It was cheaper. In fact, this was on sale. So, uh, you want a pound and a half of cod. This is about a half a pound. I've already cooked some. We put a little cumin on there, a little garlic salt, some smoked Spanish paprika, and this is my Penzi's smoked paprika, which I absolutely love. You can buy online, um, but you can get smoked paprika at your local grocery store too. I just love Penzi's. Uh, ground red pepper, And you're supposed to have coriander, but like I said, I'm discombobulated. I have no coriander. Little salt. Little salt. My oven is at 425. I've already got a skillet in here with a little bit of olive oil. I like to heat mine up. You don't have to, I just like to do it that way. Cut this in half because it and you can do this on a sheet pan too. I just, I always use my cast iron skillets. I just love the way the, the heat stays in those. And we'll put this back in the oven. About 15 minutes. We're going to make a, a cilantro cream to go on our tacos. And we'll start with about a fourth a cup of sliced green onion. This recipe came from Cooking Light uh, website. It's 394 calories per serving and one taco is per serving. Garlic. Okay, I'm going to mince this. The recipe calls for three tablespoons of um, light mayonnaise and three tablespoons of fat-free sour cream. But I just bought uh, some uh, unflavored Greek yogurt. I prefer the Greek yogurt, so. One and a half teaspoons of lime juice. So that's definitely a lot more than what I need. We'll start with that. And then also, we need grated lime rind. And you have to be real careful because you just want to get the green part. You don't, don't want to get the pith. Ah, good enough. We'll put just a tad more juice in there. I already had some fish cooked. Corn tortilla. And we're going to put, I'm just going to do this with my hands. Just crumble up a little fish. Add some cabbage. Good for you. A little lime cream. 
which probably the longer you can let that set the better the flavors are going to meld together but you get the gist fold that baby up and now my tortilla is not warm you could warm it if you want to now I'm gonna take a bite and see if it falls all over me mm -hmm. falling out the other end man that is good and that red pepper on that fish has got a good bite to it I hope you enjoy it